seeing Art in Motion is unique and powerful. And you have the opportunity to see the art of dance at the University of Illinois Flatlands Dance Film Festival. Laura Kiramonti, director and curator, and Alfonso Abraham Cervera, our featured artists, are joining us here today. Glad to have you both here with us. Thank this you. is very exciting. Tell us a little bit about this weekend's Dance Film Festival. Absolutely. So we have um, Friday and Saturday. It's going to be at the Spurlock Museum. Um, at 7 p.m. So uh, Friday night we have two different programs. Um, we're showcasing some films on Friday, and then but then the Saturday is a short film festival. But I'll let you talk about the Friday night. Thank you. Yeah. So Friday is kind of a special night. It's kind of geared towards um, artists who are celebrating Mexicanidad and Latina art in some way, and how they use that in dance, and how do they speak about that in terms of their identity and their duality of kind of living in between these two worlds in some way. So yeah. Okay. I did not understand one of the words you said. <laughs> what was that? Me me Mexicanidad. What is that? Uh, this this in between of being Mexican and American, oh. and how do you live on these two spectrums? Yeah. And and okay. <laughs> so cool. Are these performances that are like choreographed, or are they films, or is it going to be both? Um, so they're all filmed in some way. So there is live dancing that is happening in them that they've um, each artist has kind of pre-recorded and set and edited in some way. Um, but for to end that night, I think we're having a little what we're calling a party to end and to bring the audience into the space, especially with the last film. It kind of lives in that world. So how many films are there? So on Friday, there's four films. Mm -hmm. So we're, there's four featured artists, correct? Featured yep. Artists, and then yes. on Saturday, the short film festival, we have 10 films. Oh so, my goodness. Yeah. So um, the Saturday night, it's a, uh, like I said, a film festival that showcases films from around the world. So I think we had films from like 80 different countries. Um, and so we narrowed it down to 10 and we're showcasing those films and then we're going to uh, announce a festival winner at the end and um, the audience gets to choose a um, audience favorite and so it's a really fun night and all featuring dance film and screen dance. So that's What do you Saturday. hope people that come and check this out, what do you hope they take away from this experience? I think for at least for Friday, it's just a different perspective of maybe how we see dance in the world in terms of how also these artists use social dance forms specifically to cater to their cultural backgrounds and how maybe they suggest that in the space and in film specifically. I think that is just such a fruitful experience and a rarity that you get to see, especially in, I think when we think of contemporary dance. So yeah. 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 And there, I mean, there's obviously a social impact of dance as well. So we're trying to get that across. I guess, like, how long are these films? Like, so the Saturday night films, uh, no more than ten minutes. So oh, really a short. short. Yeah, okay. yeah, little quick, little um, artistic expression of dance and film coming together. So it's the choreography moving on the screen. So what has gone to one picking, like narrowing it down from all that you guys were deciding between, but then also hosting a night like this or a weekend like this? What has gone into putting this on? So there's a committee. So we look at, I think we had like 800 plus films. Wow. We narrowed it down to 30. We have adjudicators um, that then narrow it down to the 10 films. Um, we do have a theme. This year's theme is culture shock. So how is it that when you move into an environment, a different environment, how does that affect you and your body? And then also how that is expressed through the camera. Um, and so by having a theme, it helps to narrow that down. Um, but we have a range of different films from professional filmmakers to experimental film to student works. And that's where Alfonso comes in. Yes, our featured artist. <laughs> a featured artist for the featured Friday, artists, the yes. Friday night. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it'll be exciting to well, share. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's Friday. How can people? Do they need tickets? Can they get them at the door? How does that all work? Yeah. Just show up. <laughs> at the, at okay. The show up at the Spurlock Museum. The um, uh, I believe the doors open at six thirty, and then yeah, and we start at seven, and so you can get the tickets at the door, and yeah, come and, and have fun. And who should out. come to this? Is this for anyone and everyone, or who should come? Yeah, I think everyone can really enjoy this. It has so many different things from um, enjoying dance, enjoying film, um, uh, being together as a community, yeah. having dialogue. So yeah, everyone is welcome. Very fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, best of luck, Thank and you. we hope it's a huge success. And if you want to learn a little bit more about everything they have planned there for the Flatlands Dance Film Festival, there's a look at their Facebook page, Instagram, and website, and we'll connect you at CILiving.tv.